high crust that's all done. And the blueberries were cooked in the solar cooker earlier. And put in that uh, box right there with towels to keep them warm while the crust cooked. So now we empty the berries in there. making blueberry pie for the first time on the Primrose inspired soda cooker. We'll see how it turns out. Homemade pie crust. Yeah, homemade pie crust. And the, uh, the bottom crust we pre-cooked for about uh, 40 minutes. <clears throat> the top crust is not cooked, but we'll see how it turns out. We're wondering if that uh, crust is going to turn out uh, too soggy from being steamed with the lid on there, but we feel like we need to have the <coughs> lid on the skillet before we can, so that uh, we can serve the heat. <clears throat> so this is the first experience, nothing ventured, nothing gained. One of the things we said was, at the very least, it'll taste good and it'll be edible. So we'll find out how it turns out. And we've taken the extra step of uh, covering up the top of the Primrose inspired cooker with uh, towels to help conserve the heat and we'll cover up the skillet too and now we'll check the, uh, the parabolic uh, mirror array to make sure that it's uh, aligned properly the best sunlight reflection on the bottom of the skillet and there we go and that's a view of the skillet underneath. And you can also see that uh, reflection of the skillet in the mirror. Alright, we'll check on our blueberry pie here in a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, check and see how the uh, blueberry pie went. That looks good. Yeah. We'll just uh, dip into it for a second and see what it looks like. There's the there's the bottom crust. And you can see it's it's boiling there, it's bubbling. So I'd say that's done. Yep, that's done. We'll try some here in a little bit. 